Hi, Sharonas. It's Michelle Visage. Welcome to another episode of What You Packin'. Joining me today from New York City is the one and only, may I call you Jiggly? Jiggly Caliente. Hi, honey. Hi, Michelle. Of course, Michelle, you can call me Jiggly. Thank you. Miss showing up late because she got locked out of her Airbnb, girl. <laughs> I sure did. Only Jiggly. Like when they were like, Jiggly's running behind. I was like, only Jiggly. <laughs> Let's talk about our new and improved Jiggly Caliente. Better headspace. She's getting healthier. She's got a new grill. Look at her. She's just a new woman. Bam, boom, boom. How did that feel for you when they called and they said, Jiggly, we want you back for All Stars 6? I was like, oh. Should I do this? I'm like, you know what, why not? Let's show them how how I am now. Let's show them the new woman. Let's show them the new teeth. Let's show them the new body. <laughs> I was like, let's just show the whole new thing. That's really exciting, because we've seen a lot of Jiggly lately. You're one of the ensemble cast members of the hit TV show, Pose. Of course, we yes. know and love you from RuPaul's Drag Race season four. Oh my God, four. The best season ever. Calm down, Jiggly. It's definitely a great one. What I will say about <laughs> season four is that it was the season that turned the corner for Drag Race. It was the one yes. that really started to make the headlines, started to make the news, the cult following really started in your season, in season four. So I was so happy to see you here on All Stars. And I know you went home sooner than expected, and we'll get into that in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> Look, like I always say, at least I didn't go home leaving looking like a pinata. I was like, please, please. Please don't. No, you went home in a oversized sweatshirt. Which is actually my kind of like look, my go-to look. I definitely. Okay, Michelle, see, this is. <laughs> oh wait, the eye roll. Okay, definitely more your aesthetic than yes. the tin foil on season four. <laughs> With the hanging arms. The baked potato. But what we know is that she can't sew and that when it came down to the sewing challenge came up a lot sooner than it did, she was like, I was like, why? <laughs> why? I was expecting girl group. I was like, this is usually the girl group, the lip sync challenge. I was like, okay, now I'm about to f this up. And then RuPaul says the ball challenge. I'm going, <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> But you know RuPaul, she likes to switch stuff up. She doesn't like it predictable. She should, but why now? Like you couldn't wait till like episode four? <laughs> you were one of two of our fabulous trans queens this season in yes. All Stars. That must have made you proud to stand up there and represent. Yes. It just happened to be at the right time, at the right space. It was really beautiful. And I was honored to be asked to come back in my new form, uh -huh. <laughs> in all of its glory. So I was really happy to, to represent, not just for myself, but for the trans community. And then not only do that by myself, but then to have Kylie there too. It felt really good. And also to see this new, I don't want to say new and approved because you were amazing just as you were, but you've decided to take control of your health over the past few years. Uh -huh. What was it that said, you know what, enough is enough. I'm going to take care of me because it was a health thing. It wasn't aesthetic. Well, I ended up in the hospital and my heart was only working at 19%. <gasps> yeah. 19%? Yeah, and the doctor said that had I not gone to the hospital at the time, by Christmas I would have been dead. <gasps> Did you just not feel well? I wasn't feeling well. I couldn't, I was having a hard time breathing. And my brother was like, well, maybe go to the doctor. And I sure went to the ER and they admitted me right away. Wow. So was it a heart disease thing or was it? I have heart disease already. Like heart failure is like genetic thing in my family uh -huh. coupled with my, me being overweight didn't help the situation. I tried little every kind of diet in the planet. Oh, I know that. But then the one thing that I found that worked for me was portion control. I was like, I just needed to find a way to lose weight and not lose myself and not go crazy. Some people are like, oh, well, how are they gonna call you Jiggly? I'm like, other things jiggle. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like, you know, I'm like, it still is what it is. I'm so proud of you and I'm proud of everything that you've done. Even though you had a short time on the show, 
I am so happy that people got to see Jiggly. When you came around the corner, I was like, there she is. There's my girl. And I was so happy <laughs> to see you. Did you enjoy the time that you had on the show, sweetie, seeing your sisters and seeing everybody and being able to work under these circumstances? It was nice to just see human beings. Yeah. A lot of the girls are my friends, so it's like, to see everybody that I'm like, oh my God, I love you guys. Yeah. Give me a hug. Yeah. <laughs> like, that was amazing. One thing I do want to say, Michelle, is like, I want to thank you so much for the conversation we had on tour about me getting surgery and how none of that would complete me as a woman because I am the woman who I am right here. And I really want to thank you so much for that because that helps so much in my journey. Aww. There's no need to thank me because I saw the struggle in you. And I think we put so much pressure on ourselves to become something that society deems right or normal or acceptable. And I think that needs to be eradicated. I think we need to erase it. I think we need to not pay attention to it. Not everybody can fit that mold. And I think you putting the pressure to be a certain kind of woman wasn't fair to who you are. You are the perfect woman just as you are, Jiggly. You are warm, you are kind, you are lovable, you are fun, you're funny, you're so giving. You can be lazy, but I'll kick your ass on that one. <laughs> but everything about you is genuine and I wouldn't change a thing. Allow yourself to be the woman that you are. And look at you, you're working nonstop. The minute you came to accept yourself for who you really are, both physically, mentally, and emotionally, you became yeah. this working nonstop girl. You're a working girl. I feel like as soon as I started to let go of a lot of things, everything started to fall into place. Yeah. It's a journey. I, I, you know, I know that word is overused in television, but it is a journey to get to where you are. And your journey is really just beginning, Jiggly, because you're still young enough, kinda. You're getting up there, girl. Um, but you're, <laughs> you're young enough in your. I just new, got up there. That's all right. You're young enough in your in your new next phase of authenticity and your real life. And that's what brings me joy to see you live happily, healthily, and enjoying all of everything that life has to throw at you without fighting it. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Michelle. Let's talk about this beautiful JLo number you got up here. Well, this is because I wanted to show my body journey. And it wasn't a big girl thing or whatever. Like now I'm happy in this, in this shell. No matter what size you are, you can find that beauty within yourself. And I know that's super cliche or whatever, but it's a thing that when it hits you, it it, it hits you, like, you know, nobody can tell you anything now. And that's why I was like, you know what, let me get my Versace in my, in my size. Yeah! <laughs> you know what though, Jiggles, it might feel cliche to you, but if it was so cliche, then everybody would do it. We say it because A, we need to hear it ourselves, and B, maybe yeah. it could help somebody else in their journey for self-love and, you know, happiness. It's not gonna happen overnight. Nobody falls in love overnight right, like that. Right. You have to find little things and little things and little things. I like this about myself. I like this about myself. You just constantly find things and then at some point it's like, well, I'm in love with me now. Yes. I'm proud of everything that you've done. I'm proud of everything that you're going to do. And most importantly, I'm proud of you. And I love you, Jiggly Caliente. Thank you. I love you too, Michelle. Uh, you know, I was more worried about you. You should be worried I about really me. I really was more worried about Because I'll kick your butt. <laughs> All the girls were like, you know, like, we could get away with <laughs> with Rue. Because Rue would really be like, okay. Right, right. But Michelle would be like, uh-uh. <laughs> no, bitch. <laughs> that, and it's that finger too, is that. That's my job though. You know, Ross and Carson, <laughs> they're there to bring comedy and, and Ross adds his little stories. I'm there to just say, listen, I want you to be the best that you can be. I am rooting for you, but it ain't gonna happen like that. So we're gonna find a way <laughs> to make it I happen. tried to. I had tried. <laughs> I love you, Jiggly. Thank you so much, I sweetheart. I love you, Michelle. Stay safe, stay I healthy. You. I wish I could hug you. I'll oh hug my you God. soon. I'll hug you soon, okay, sweetheart? Love you. Love you. That's another episode of What You Packing. Thank you for joining me, kids. I'll see you next time. Bye. Subscribe to the Drag Race YouTube channel for all things Drag Race.